Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as the Papal Empire. Now it's a modded civilization, so it's a little bit weird and a little bit awesome, but I think we're having a good time so far. Let's go ahead and continue on. Now I, th I could drop a farm here or I could drop a farm over here. I think I will drop the farm here because I, I'm interested in working the plus science tiles. I think they add a lot to my civilization. So I only miss out on these two tiles, which is, you know, they're in range of this city anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, I would like to actually pick up this grassland hill uh, pretty early, but I, I don't know if I'm ready to spend gold on that end. I do have a commercial hub finishing up over here in Bene, Benevento. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge, but if men make war in slavish obedience to rules... And I have my final settler coming out now. So this worries me again. I need to, I think I need to get some more units. Just to, just to secure myself against the surprise attack. Um, I'll grab ancient walls. And then maybe a couple of more archers. Uh, I have another envoy and again I want to send this to Yerevan. I think Yerevan is the one, right? Yes, Apostles. Um, I want to send it to Yerevan, but I also, I really want to build a temple, so I think I might go for a temple over ancient walls and see how, how greedy can we really get away with. And the really big advantage of getting food from these buildings means I'll be able to work these faith slots um, at some point, perhaps, without having to worry about starving out my cities. I will drop a farm here to make this a great tile. I, I am Isis Reborn, I am the Living Nile, I am Cleopatra, and an ally if you are worthy. It is an honor to meet you. I would love to sample your hospitali hospitality. God damn it. <laughs> I always say that word in a silly way. <laughs> um, okay, so it looks like I've picked up uh, some buildings coming up now in a moment. Now, I'm not used to playing on this speed of gameplay. I'm used to playing on quick or on online speed. So playing on standard speed is definitely a different experience. Um... I think it changes the game quite a bit. So in Ravenna, I have just finished my monument. I have, I'm working cotton, which is kind of good, kind of bad. I might have to rush a granary here just to help the city actually get anywhere. Um, but what I will also rush is a theater square, just for that little bit of culture, perhaps. To get us through the um, get us through the tech tree just that little bit quicker, maybe. Yeah, I'll stick down at theater square here. I'll rush it even. I'm gonna move my archer up slightly to defend my forward tiles. I'm gonna go into next turn. Uh, you are worse than Brutus, so like, the turn after she meets me, she, den she denounces me, which is kind of fucking absurd if you ask me. Um, it's very, very silly. I wonder why that guy is standing there. I mean, I'll accept that he's standing there, but I, I wonder why he's standing there. So it looks like we just finished a thing over here. Uh, I'm gonna get a temple instead, because this city just has a food problem. Uh, so four turns until I'll be able to recruit apostles to max out my religion and start really getting things going. So wait one more turn, please. I'm going to get up onto this hill with this archer just so I have a better view of what are what's going on on my borders. Um, there's a monument finishing up over here. I feel pretty safe in terms of certain things. I would like to maybe have a scout on these borders just to have a better idea of what's going to be coming at me. Uh, but I think otherwise, I think we have a fairly, st I think we have the empire we need to win the game. I know people might disagree with that. Okay, so it looks like we did finish a commercial hub over here. Oh, and something I should have changed. If it's cheap enough, I will actually do it now. I'm going to switch this. I'm not going to be building any more settlers, so I'm going to just quickly pay for that. I'll, I'll, I'll eat the cost to get extra builder production. Because this will go down to seven turns, which is exactly what I want. And now I feel definitely comfortable building builders all around my empire. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to settle... Oh, do I want to settle here? Or do I want to settle here? I think here actually grabs some extra... Yeah, this grabs extra tiles that I don't already have in my empire. So I'm going to cross the river, actually. Uh, 
Uh, two more turns until I can make units of my desire. I think this is like something something's up with the AI where it thinks it can attack me and it's trying to kill me with this Mamluk or something. I don't know what's up. I gotta go to alert here. This guy is gonna be just you know, sitting over here keeping things safe. Uh, next turn. We have commercial hubs coming up and stuff like that. So he wants some spices for some chocolate and open borders. I will accept this as a deal. Um, so I'm going to accept the deal and then I'm going to move on. I'm going to f f blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna settle Gubbio, the city over here. Uh, and this city, I think, is going to rush a builder. Because I want to get those horses. I want to get some tiles improved over here. And then I will go next turn. I'll go next turn. That's just perfectly fine. I've got... A oh, walls. Is that what I really want over here? I don't know if it is. Wow, apostles are expensive. Um, we are making a lot of faith, though. So I think we can afford to go for an apostle here. Okay, it's all looking pretty good at this point. I'm going to go next turn. I will need to pick up some Zions because they're they're starting to run away with things, which is scary to me. If bread is the first necessity of life. So this Apostle, what am I going to do with you? Can spread religion. Yeah, I think this is... I think... It's hard to justify... Oh wait, he can choose any anything. Okay, yes. Yeah, so then I'm going to just use a evangelizer. And I'm going to choose, let's see. Yeah, the mosque is really good here because it's the plus one spread. Now the Gurdwara would work also because we went the food. But I think I'm going to take the plus one spread. Um, city states each commercial hub. Plus five culture or plus culture tithe could be really good, but I think I'll go for pilgrimage. I think I'll pick up mosque, and then I'll pick. I'll also pick up pilgrimage because that's going to help me um, as I spread. You know, so he looks like he's attacking me with his religion. Going to build a defensive mission missionary. Kind of hurts my faith, but it's 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 worth it. I, I do. I am getting walls up in Rome, so that's going to make that city safe. I'm also getting walls up in Ascoli. Which is also keep, gonna keep that city safe. Uh, I'm grabbing a little bit of faith here, or not faith, sorry, a little bit of culture here, um, because I'm hearing talk that you want to celebrate your rule. Okay, that's good. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of culture here because I, I don't want my culture to fall too far, far behind because we have to get to the um, stuff like Reformed Church as fast as possible. Uh, okay, so let's have a look here. What is your biggest issue? I think your biggest issue is actually you can't feed yourself, right? Uh, food is also an issue for you. I'm going to drop a holy site on that tile, but first... Is there anything I can build in one turn? I'll chop out a granary. That's perfectly fine. I'll get a granary and then I'll chop and then I'll drop the holy site. Okay, I'm going to keep you in position to sleep. Next turn. Alright, you're not worthy of the past. Yeah, they're they're really upset with me for reasons I don't understand. It's like, whatever. I didn't do anything. Like, And that's the thing about the AI is like the turn after they meet you, they will denounce you. Which is, you know, I guess I guess that can sometimes make sense. But it didn't make sense in the context of what was happening in the game. Uh... Yeah, I think... Now, I could go for a campus here. But I think the holy side is really going to help me win the game. I think I have enough science to not fall too far. Although Saladin is pretty crazy right now. Uh, I'm getting another archer, which is good. How much would it cost to faith purchase that? 340 faith. That would make it take 100 turns for it to pay itself off. So I think I will hard build that. We're making a couple of archers. I would also like to make a trader somewhere if I could. Next turn. I also need more builders. I need. I just kind of need everything right now. I'm trying to balance things carefully to get enough faith to upgrade my religion as well as spread my religion.
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this jungle tile and then I'm going to build a triangle of farms here to help this city grow a little bit. Um, I have an archer. I think I'm going to put an archer up on up here. Just having archers lying around is always a good good move because it means you have you know defensive units to call upon should you be attacked. Particularly when I have a lot of really threatening civs in my game. So you're going to sit over there. You're going to sit over there. Uh, so Rome. I could hard build the mosque. Or I could get you some builders because you do have some unimproved tiles. If I threw down a couple of farms over here. Or maybe I did a triangle of farms here. Grab a builder. Mosque. Oh, you know what? We haven't built the granary here, actually. So we'll grab a granary. And we will grab the water mill. We'll go build our granary water mill. Into mosque, I think, is the move here. And then we'll go next turn. We're not too far away from purchasing our next great... Uh, not great, sorry, apostle. I am still worried about these Mamluks on my border. It's kind of scary. Uh, looks like... Yeah, I want to spread my religion to Tomirius in particular. To get her on my side. To make her friendly. I'm hoping that's what that does. <laughs> it might not actually. It might just piss her off. But I think we're in a very delicate balance right now. Uh, so what I actually want to do is here. I want to chop out a second. I want to chop out a second builder. If I can. To get these improved. Oh, this is a hill. That's even better, actually. Because I can now put a mine down there, which will give this city extra production. Next turn. Okay, we found the Dead Sea. Sadly, we don't get the relic for that, because we don't, we're don't. we not the suzerain of Candy, because we went for Yerevan instead. Being able to choose our Apostles' um, skills is just way, way too strong to ignore. In my, you know, That's my opinion. I mean, I could be wrong on that, but that's just the way I felt. Okay, so Divine Might has advanced considerably. I think that was our second temple finishing down here. Yep. The great thing about the taking the food means because I settled a little bit on Tundra, I can this city has like a really good food income because of that. Um, okay, so we're making a monument. That's going to be perfectly fine. A little bit of culture will help out this city. I think I'll also need to do some other stuff like pick up um, like a campus here eventually. When I do that, the timing on that is interesting. Really what I want is a theatre square though. Just to get that little bit of culture. So I might stick that down here. Get the monument at the theatre square and see if we can use these back, use these two um, internal cities to try and get a little bit of culture to speed up our rate. So that we get that, um, that technology at. Okay, so we got our just got our boost for apprenticeship, which is great because now our mines are worth more. It's going to be a pretty big change to our empire if we can get some mines out in different places. Uh, this place actually needs a builder or two because we are just working faith right now. So I might even rush a builder here just to get this just to just just for this mine alone. It's worth it, I think. And then you're going to go for a builder as well after your granary. Go next turn. Alrighty. I think, yeah, I'm actually feeling really good about this game in comparison to the last game. Uh, the last game I feel like it went pretty poorly at some points. I'm going to keep these two um, things for the lumber mill, uh, which I might even get after education. Education, machinery, and then we'll have a look at things. So what I might do is, but I am going to throw down three farms over here just so this city has some... Uh, room to grow and get bigger. Uh, if I do it, if I do a triangle of farms over here, it should make a pretty powerful little triangle actually. So next turn, uh, looks like I just discovered another city-state, Kabul. Uh, whew. I was gonna put down some farms in the city, wasn't I?
There are a couple of lumber mills on the river, so that's kind of good too. Um, I'm thinking... It's hard to place farms in a triangle here. I put down farms here and here. Well, this city's going to get fed from the shrine. So really, I just need to find where I can get some production here. And I think it's going to be out of these... Um, out of these... What do you call them? I'm going to chop out this jungle because jungle isn't very good. Choose production in a scully. Uh, you could use another builder, but you could also use actually building useful things. Now I could get 11 on 11. I think I'm going to rush. I think I'm going to grab an early campus here. Just to get my science up a little bit. I have a couple of cities building um, theater squares. So let's keep building these farms to get this city to be nice and strong and big. I'm going to go to my next turn. All right. Okay, looks like a, we just uh, unlocked defensive tactics, which is some good stuff. Not really super, not really super inclined to be building wonders at all. I like the Mahabodhi Temple could be really cool. Uh, it's, you know. It could be really good, but I just I don't feel like I can get it um, against the AI. Now, I think I also want... I, I think I'm mainly looking for envoys at this point, so I'll happily trade with Yerevan. I'm going to build my third farm here, and that should upgrade all of those farms, which will also give me the boost towards feudalism, which we are currently researching. So now all these farms should be viable to work. Uh, maybe a little bit less so than I anticipated, but... I should have enough housing to grow into these farms and stuff like that. But I feel like Rome is now pretty damn strong and I can start doing some really interesting things. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I should be able to get another Apostle now. Okay, I am going to improve the horses, so that's going to give the city a better tile to work. I'm also, I'm going to... Rush. I'm thinking... I could go for a Holy Site, right? I could do that thing. Or... I could get to work on other stuff like a commercial hub that will help me fund my army and give me more trade routes and stuff. So I think I'm going to go for the commercial hub here. I will pick up the I will pick up the monument though at least. I think I need to pick up traders somewhere. And I don't really I don't really have anywhere that can do it in a reasonable. Well, I I do have places I can do it. I just don't have anywhere I want to do it, right? That's kind of like the trouble I'm in right now. I have things I need to do, I have things I want to do, and uh, I have places where I need to do things, but I don't want to do them in those places. Okay, I'm going to evangelize, or am I going to spread? I think I'm going to spread. So I'm going to take, take this over to Ascoli. And then when I get there, I'll make a decision about how I'm going to approach Tamira. So how do you feel about declaring a friendship? Okay, so you're not quite ready for a friendship. I'm going to keep you on alert mode. Um, so let me go over here. I'm going to see if I can chop out this forest real quick. And then I'm going to go to my... Okay, yeah. And then I'm going to chop out this rainforest. That'll shave a few turns off this guy. Um, and you know, if I had this tile, I could do a triangle of farms, and that would add a little bit of production to the city. Huh. Is it worth it to buy that tile? Well, if the city-state gets it, then I can't have it. So I will purchase it, and then I'll drop farms in this triangle eventually, I guess. Because, you know, I would much, I would much rather work a two food one hammer tile than a three food tile just because the city just has really poor production so i'll drop a farm here send envoy uh yerevan again i think i want to because i want to get to the plus six right yeah so i'll send that to yerevan and that'll get me the plus six so now i'm making even more faith if i go in here i can fiddle with things now I'm making 46 faith it's not a huge bump but it's a, uh, it's a lo long term, it's going to play out, mean a lot of points for me, right? Okay. So, water mill. 
Do I want to chop here? Or do I want to improve? I think I want to keep this the way it is. Why don't you go just hang out there on that wheat and wait for that wheat to, imp to uh, come into my empire. Yep, I think I'm going to improve this again because this will add one production to the city. Now I would like another builder here to get this um, improved as well, which would make these all really, really good. Yeah, since I don't have the option of building like mines and stuff right now, I'm hoping by increasing the population that'll just help the city do its job. I mean, I guess that can kind of work. I don't know. I'm I'm still oof, I'm, I'm mainly trying to get my faith up. Uh, I've got a few things. I really don't want to spend my faith until I get to Reformed Church. And we get new builder actions here soon as well. So I want to be careful about how many builders I built. We're just about to finish a water mill. And it looks like you... Did you just discover a tribal village all the way up here? Wow. It looks like... Actually, I'm really, really close to a lot of my opponents. So you're going to hang out there for one turn. And then the city will grow. So now I want to have a look. at What promotion... Oh, I, I'm not the suzerain of... Yerevan. Ah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I am. Why can't this apostle shoot? Oh. Well, I'll take the pilgrim. And then I'll just go adjacent to this natural wonder next turn. Next turn. Na da da da. You can hear like the local teenagers screaming. Uh, so we just got construction. I think that was because I built a water mill here. Uh, I'm going to drop a farm here on this pile. That's like, uh, that's one of the unfortunate things about me recording during summer is like, there's nothing I can do about like the local people just like live near me. Everyone likes going being outside and like screaming and all that sort of good stuff. I'm going to jump in here and I will now have six spreads to use on Tamiris. And then I will go to my next turn. So if I can get if I can get Tamiris converted early, um, that'll be useful because I think she might start spreading the religion on her own. I'm not sure if the AI does that, but I guess the earlier I get someone under my wing, the better. So what's it? Wait, what was his faith return? 92, and I'm at 47, so I'm even I'm even not too bad on that front. Uh So you are working that tile, because that's a decent tile. Then I'm going to get you to hang out for a while. Well, where could you go to help out? I think, go get that cotton online, actually. That extra amenity could really help my empire. Oh, you know what I might do? I might delay this builder. For the plus two, um, plus two build actions. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's fine by me. See if I can convert Tamiris. I have a lot of spreads on this guy, so I'm hopeful. Although, I might be better off going for pa Pokrovka. And I think I will go for Pokrovka. And then I'll go next turn. So we're building a campus here, which is perfectly reasonable. Because the extra science is going to help us out. You know, Saladin, Salad Man is getting pretty crazy up there on the old science. He's already hitting the industrial era. Knowledge of stirrups. Okay, so we're going to fill a policy slot here. That's the plus two build actions. And then I'm also going to want to pick up 100% holy side adjacency bonuses for the extra faith. And that should bring us up to like, yeah, but that's not that much. That's pretty good. I'm going to drop the um, cotton here. Because cotton is just an extra amenity, which means my empire can grow bigger. It means I have more. Uh, yeah, again, again, this sort of stuff is scary. So once this guy's finished, I think. Ah. Uh, Grab a trader, 
and a commercial hub. I'm going to move up here and then I'm going to spread my religion. So I need to get them. Oh my god, they're, they built a lot of these Kurgans. Holy crap, I forgot you could build them adjacent to each other. That's a crazy amount of Kurgans. So I'm going to see if I can get Pokrovka underneath my wing. And then that should actually count as her I'll be being like dominant over her, right? So there it is. She is... Oh, it looks like Myriv went away. But there might be another city over here I can grab. Uh, I'll go into the next turn. Yeah, this is scary as hell. The Bombards and the Mamluks showing up on my border. I want to keep Saladin under my... In, in my friend zone, as it were. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm going to move on now. Next turn. Looks like... Did they build the Parthenon? Or what is that? That's the... Um, Oracle. Oh, interesting. Spread my religion over here to Gelinus. So I'm hoping that by spreading my religion over here, it'll kind of passively start spreading to some of these cities as well. It looks like I do have a little bit of pressure around the world, um, which is going to be in my favor. I'm going to hopefully start spreading that even more aggressively. It looks like there might be terrain in here of some sort that I just haven't discovered. Although that does look like China's terrain. Um, okay, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to call this an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more from my videos. Please remember to leave a like if you want to directly support the channel. And go ahead and leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.